I'm Casey Stone. And thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of the live Casey Stone podcast. Uh, we are doing a live video today. We've done them a few times and we're getting uh, great responses. So we're just going to continue to do them from time to time, right? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> You're enjoying it. Let's enjoy it together. Can we do that? How cool is this? Uh, if you are jumping on live, I know a few of you are jumping on right now. So when you get here, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to show us some love in the comment section below. If it's a question, we're going to respond. If it's a prayer request, I'm going to pray for you. Um, and if you'd like a private prayer request sent, you can always send it to um, us here at our ministry. It's stoneministries.online. Info, sorry, info at stoneministries.online. Uh, and I received those prayer requests. And our team here would love to be able to be in agreement with you. Come on where two or more agree is touching anything. It shall be established. So good. So good. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, wh what are you eating for lunch? Tell me what you're eating for lunch because I'm fixing to have to get me some grub after this. <laughs> it's going to give me some ideas to go out and feed my face in just a minute. Hopefully you're not eating carbs because I'm trying not to do a whole lot of those. But if you recommend it, I'll have to try it. Right. So help a brother out. <laughs> give me some car. Give me some carb recommendations. Um, oh, man. So really quick, I just want to share with you a little bit today. Um, we my family and I uh, went primitive camping. I want to make sure I said that word right. Primitive camping. And um, if you don't know what primitive camping is, don't do it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, it was an experience. I asked my kids what their favorite part about it was, and they said, going home. <laughs> going home. Primitive camping is where you go camping with essentials. You have no running water. You have no electricity. The nearest bathroom was a two-mile hike right from our campsite. We had to uh, hike a mile in to like park our car in a parking space outside hike into the woods a mile to get to our campsite. And I was like, this is for the birds. So um, while we're camping in, while we're hiking into our campsite, uh, it took two trips for all of our stuff. We have six, uh, six people in our family, four kids and my wife and I. And so we're hiking in a mile into our campsite. And we get there and we're like, we have to go back to the car to get another load, to get the second load. And so we get the second load and we get it all back into the woods, you know, the whole mile trek back up to the campsite, get everything unloaded, set up, have, honestly, it was a really great experience. We got to camp along the Paluxy River and see some really cool attractions and, and got some tours for dinosaur tracks. And so it was really neat. Um, but when we were getting ready to go home, I told my wife, I was like, honey, whatever we have to do, I am not making two trips. <laughs> I will, I will not make two trips. We're going to get all this in one trip. So we loaded up everything that was going to go, uh, and we put it in the wagon. And when we were getting ready to leave, we looked around at everything that was left and I, this did not look very professional, but I just grabbed the tarp down off the tree that we had used for our primitive bathroom. <laughs> and I pulled that tarp down, laid it on the ground, and I put everything that was left on this tarp and put some um, uh, rope around it, I mean, in through the little loops of the tarp. And I just put the rope over my shoulder and it drug, I drug that tarp so dang heavy. I drug that tarp down the pathway uh, back to the car, up the mile hike to the car. And, you know, my son, bless his heart, he's pulling the wagon, did a great job. But he's pulling the wagon in front of me and and um, and everybody's in front and I'm the caboose because I'm, I'm just, it's so heavy. So I'm dragging this uh, tarp full of stuff and I'm like, it's it's just, it's crazy. We had so much stuff in this tarp and as I'm dragging it, I stop. And I turned around because I started thinking, what the heck is in this tarp? What's in here? Why didn't, why did we need so much stuff to primitive camp? And so I turned around and in this tarp was, I just started looking at it 
and processing what I was dragging. And it was stuffed animals in there. Uh, we had an extra sleeping bag that we didn't, that we just brought just in case. We had um, a, a bag of blankets just in case. Um, we had uh, several things in there um, for just in case stuff. And then I thought, you don't bring extra stuff camping primitively. Come on, you don't bring any extra stuff whenever you're camping with essentials only. We don't need to hack all this stuff around. What the world were we thinking? What were we thinking? I was exhausted. I was so tired. This is the result. I'm gonna show you this picture of me. This is the result. <laughs> I was exhausted. I was tired. My hair was a mess. Come on, I didn't know. I, you did not want to sit with near me eating a meal. I promise you that. In fact, we went to a restaurant right after <laughs> right after we got done. And uh, our friend Blair made the joke that as soon as we sat down, the people next to us got up and left. <laughs> it's the truth. We were smelly. We were stinky. We were tired. I was exhausted. I was sweating profusely like I had been out in a rainstorm. It was crazy. I was so tired. And the Lord began to spoke to me in that minute. While I was on the trail, he said, think about this. This is exactly what it looks like when our flesh is trying to carry around stuff that God never meant for us to carry. This is what it looks like when we're headed to our destiny. You remember in previous episodes, um, I've made comments and, and, and told you what Holy Spirit told me about how our um, destiny, getting to our destiny is solely dependent on our sensitivity to the spirit realm. You remember whenever I said that? This is one of those moments. God is saying, you're carrying too much. Let it go. Our spirit man looks exactly like I did in that picture. When we're trying to carry around guilt, we're trying to carry around shame, we're trying to carry around regret from a previous relationship, we're trying to carry around problems uh, without solutions, without bringing solutions to the table. We just want to focus on the negative and focus on the problem. Come on. It's time for the church to let go of some stuff. Come on. It's not God's will for us to walk around bogged down and heavy laden. Come on. Right? Come on, this is good. It's not God's will for your life to walk around heavy and beat down and bogged down with regret and guilt and shame and problems and, 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 and all these past memories of, of failure. Come on. We have to let all that go to be able to get to where God's calling us to be. You know, I, I heard a song. Um, it's, it's, it's a long time ago I heard this song. <clears throat> And I love the artist. Like, don't look it up and then say, oh, I don't like those people. Because I love that. It's my, seriously my favorite singers. But the song goes, he never promised that the cross would not get heavy. Right? And then it says, or the hue would not be hard to climb. Yes, he did. Yes, he did promise that. He promised us that the cross wouldn't get heavy. He promised us that it wouldn't be hard to climb that hill. Listen, go to Matthew chapter 11. Go to Matthew chapter 11. If you have your Bibles with you, if you don't, just listen. I'll, I'll, I'll put a reference up on the screen. Just a second. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. It says, uh, come unto me. Right? Come unto me, Jesus. Come to me. All that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The word labor there, uh, in the original text, it means to toil with effort of the body or the mind. To toil in effort with the body or the mind. Listen, God's called us to do great things in our destiny. Listen, he said that you were going to do better things than he did. What? Better things than what Jesus did? But he's going to ask you to do those things and then he's going to make it hard and difficult for you? No! Come on, church! We don't serve a God who did all the work. Everything that we were called to do is complete in him. That's why he can say our weakness is made strong in him, right? His strength is made perfect in our weakness. That's how he can say those things. Because everything that we were created to do, everything we were called to do is complete in him. We just walk it out. We don't serve a God who calls us to do things and then makes it difficult for us. He, he, he's not saying, I did all the work, now you do all the work. No, he's saying, I did all the work so that I could give you rest. Come on, powerful, powerful. I did all the work. I did the laboring so that you could walk easy in this, so that you could have rest in me. Come on, in me, 
in me, not in the world, not in the flesh, not in the things of this world, but in him. If we're having difficulty in our life, we probably need to self-examine and reevaluate where we feel like we're getting our strength from. Are we getting our strength from accolades? Are we getting our strength from, from that of boys and that of girls? Are we getting our strength from our peers around us looking for um, acceptance and, and, and approval from them? Or are we getting our strength from him? Because that's where our, that's where our ease is going to come from. Matthew chapter 28, 11. And then look at, the, look at verse 30. He says, I'll give you rest. Then verse 30, he says, um, for my yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. The word easy there in the original text, so good. Listen, it's gentle, pleasant, and kind. Gentle, pleasant, and kind. That picture of me that I showed you a couple, a couple of seconds ago, if we have it, I'll show it to you again just in case you're jumping on for the first time. This picture right here, that's not easy, that's not pleasant, and that is not kind. <laughs> There's nothing about that that's easy, pleasant, or kind. Whenever God was showing me, that's what a spirit man looks like. That's what a spirit man looks like when we're dragging around all this stuff in the flesh. Why? Because we're feeding our spirit man, not the word of God. We're feeding our spirit man regret. We're feeding our spirit man shame. We're feeding our spirit man with our emotions and our flesh. Whew. Lay it down. Put it aside. Put it aside. Live happy. Live with ease. That's the life that Jesus has called us to live. I'm going to read that again. Come unto me. Right? Come unto me. Don't go to the world. Come unto me. All that you labor, all that you all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you're struggling with what God's called you to do, go to him. Don't go to the people of this world. Right? Don't go to the don't go to the people that, that aren't in the same mindset as you because you know what they'll tell you to do? Oh, that is too hard. That is too hard. That is too hard. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Let's lay aside the things of the world and pick up our spirit mantle. Come on, pick up what God's called you to do and get rest in him. I love verse 30. For my yoke is easy. My yoke is pleasant. It's kind. Oh, it's good. And my burden is light. The word light there, not burdensome. In the original text, it means not burdensome. My burden is not burdensome, right? It can't be a burden if it's not burdensome. Powerful, 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 powerful. He says, come to me and I'll give you rest, right? Come to me and I'll give you rest. My burden is easy. My burden is kind, right? My, my burden is bearable. It, and uh, my burden is light. My burden is bearable, right? It's not, it's not unbearable. How good is that? Is that good news to you? Come on, that's good news to me. That's good news to me. If you're just now jumping on, what we're talking about today, I'm just, we're just laying down the burdens of this world. We're laying down the things that, that um, are holding us back from our destiny. The Apostle Paul even said, I can't move forward until I forget what's behind, right? He says, he says, he says, I'm pressing forward, forgetting what's behind and I'm pressing forward. That's so powerful. How great is that? Our, you know, we're supposed to follow the apostle Paul as he follows Christ. That's what he said to do, right? So if we're doing that and we're still hanging on and remembering and, and dragging in to the next season, everything that's bogging us down, how are we going to get to where God's called us to be? How are we going to get there? How are we going to get there? I'll tell you how we forget that we let it go and we come to Jesus who will give us rest and who will make the burden non-burdensome in our life with this promise. You know, Jeremy and I were um, talking earlier today and we even David had a revelation of New Testament, um, uh, New Testament covenants. You know, when he says things like, as long as I'm living, I'm going to find the goodness of God, right? And he says things like this, the righteous will never be forsaken. He says all of these things, blessed is the man who transgressions are forgiven, right? How did he know all of these things? Because he was looking forward. He's looking in, right? He knew the God that he served. And it was not a God of burdensome problems and situations. It's not a God of, of, of I'm going to, you know, give you this problem to teach you something. What? No, Holy Spirit is our teacher. Trouble and problems is not our teacher. Regret is shame is not our teacher, right? Don't try to let someone tell you that you're carrying this regret and shame because God's trying to tell you something. Let it go. Let it go, right? We're going to be Elsa's today. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Turn away and slam the door. 
<laughs> I think that's how that song goes. Oh, man. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today um, on this live episode. <clears throat> If you um, have any questions, any comments, any prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section below. I want to answer those for you. Um, and then if it's a prayer request, please know that that we are going to be in agreement with you. That's not a cliche. We are going to lift up your name before the kingdom of heaven. And just know that when we do that, when we're in agreement with you, when you're in agreement with us, when two or more are gathered, all of heaven stands at attention, right? Waiting, just waiting. God watches over his word to perform it. We speak the word in our prayer time with God over your life so that he watches over that word and he's going to be faithful to perform that. Amen. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Man, thank you again for joining me today. I love you. Yes, you. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you again next week. God bless you.